Hey guys! Hello, it's Christine here. Hi! Let's invite some people. I'm gonna tap very softly because I'm using a different holder. So, how is everybody? Sorry, it's a little shaky. So we're gonna have some fun. I'm in my kitchen tonight. Say hi when you hop on. Um, if you're catching the replay, comment replay. So, hey, hi. Okay, so I wanna show you something super, super quick. Um, if you don't have a fancy sponge cleaner for your blender full, which is the best way for you to put on your foundation, yep, the best, that's okay because this is, by the way, my favorite dish soap ever is the Method Dish Soap. Hi, Robin. Hi, Ashley. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Robin. Um, okay, so just a little side note here. Um, I used to use Dawn dish soap with sponges. And I am so picky about this dish soap here that I go to Target, which is like out of my way where I live right now, just to get this, this soap, right? So like, let's say for example, I run out of it and I don't get to Target. I have like a backup Dawn what, I'm in my kitchen, you guys. Hold on. Okay, so I have a backup Dawn. And it's this um, apple blossom, right? If you use this Dawn dish soap a couple of times, like your sponge will start to smell, you know, weird, right? But if you use this method dish soap, your sponge will not smell. Like it doesn't start to smell bad at all. You don't need to microwave your sponge. Like you just go through it and then when it starts to look weird, you just replace it like nothing. But for some reason, whenever I use Dawn, my, my sponge will start to smell bad. So total side note on that, okay? Just PS, get some method. Um, it's a non-toxic plant-based um, dish soap, okay? So this is what I use to clean my blender full. And it only takes a couple of drops. Um, so you don't have to buy a fancy brush cleaner, although Limelight does sell a, um... thank you. I know, right, my lashes are like crazy today. Yeah, thank you. Um, uh, perfect mascara, thank you very much. Um, so, uh, what was I saying? Okay, so we sell a, uh, a sponge and brush cleaner that is made with um, coconut milk and it's all natural and it's really, really great, but um, I don't have it. And sometimes if you do have it and you run out of it and you need to wash your sponge and you don't have it, you have to order it, you might be in a pinch, right? <laughs> and so um, I wanted to show you what you can do when you're in a pinch. So let's get going. I'm going to show you how to do this. So this is a little pump. I'm going to put some soap on here. I have, I think I have uh, Santa's little helper in the background. Rudy. What? I put another drop on there. Santa's secret word is gingerbread. <gasps> All right, get out of here. <laughs> okay, um, if you guys don't know what he's talking about, you have to get over to my makeup lounge because I just posted a game earlier. <laughs> okay, so I'm putting a couple of drops. Okay, so I, this is a third drop. And I'm just kind of like massaging it into the blender bowl. And I'm just 
squeezing all of the makeup out of it. Now, what's awesome about the blender full is that when you use it, you wanna use it damp. So, you can wash it right before you use it. You don't have to let it dry overnight. So, I did my eye makeup and my brows. I got my primer going. All right, Rudy, go sit down. Okay. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. That is my 10-year-old Rudy. Hello. Take a bow. <laughs> um, what was I saying? Yeah, so you can use this damp right after you clean it. So I'm going to put on my foundation now as soon as I get this sucker clean. And so I'm just kind of like, I've got a couple little spots left here. And so I just kind of like massage it in and squeeze out Rudy. The foundation. And then I got a little bit up here too, so. You can just kind of like very gently pinch it out and it just comes out into the suds. Thank you. I think he knows he's cute, just like he knows. So I just keep um, squeezing it under the water now and I'm not gonna add any more soap because now I just wanna keep squeezing and soaking up the clean water and squeezing out the suds. Okay, I lied, I got a little bit of foundation left over. There we go. I'm just pinching out gentle because, see that's where I got a little bit too rough right there. I don't know if you can see, I just kinda like took a little chunk out how is everybody tonight? Um, so yeah, we're playing a game. It's called Santa's Secret Word. So get over to my makeup lounge. You wanna check it out. Hey, Michelle. Hi, Tony. Okay. So, let's see. Let's see if it's just about clean. Got a little bit left here. Pretty much as good as new. Ta-da! I need a towel. I guess I will use a paper towel. What's up, Tony? So I just kind of squeeze it a little bit with a paper towel. And I'm gonna get my botanical foundation. And I'm gonna use the flat side of the blender full. And I'm just gonna twist it into the product like that. I'm gonna just start putting this on my face. The light's changing on me. What's up, guys? <laughs> um, I actually don't use Come Clean. I haven't tried it yet. I just use a uh, method dish soap. It works really, really well. And um, I really like it because it's a non-toxic dish soap and it's my favorite dish soap. And I was bragging about it in the very beginning of the video. So if you didn't hear me bragging about it, catch the replay. I know Facebook is doing something, excuse me, really weird where it's not letting you like 
scroll and fast forward. Oh, you were supposed to message me. Hi, Nancy. I don't want to get my blender full dirty, so I use, oh, girl, it just, it's, it gets clean really easy. Um, anyways, what was I saying? Squirrel, start talking to people. Hello, hello hair. Low battery. Look at this lovely shade. You know, you think it's too white, but look how it matches my neck like perfectly. My face is actually darker because I have a whole bunch of a scar, uh, scarring from acne. Do you hear the dogs? Rudy's wrestling with the dogs. They're fighting. They're fighting? Yeah, they're having the biggest, they're having the dog fight in 2017. Right now, right now the biggest dog who's away from is Bruno. So I use this probably, I probably wash my blender full probably once every week and a half. I wouldn't go past two weeks. It's good to uh, keep it clean for your skin, you know. And then, so so check this out. When you buy this blender full, not only are you getting a really high grade uh, blender, but you also are getting the mesh bag that it comes with. And so it keeps air circulating through it so you never have to set it down on like for me like normally i do my makeup on my desk which is like filthy right i'm sure there's like all kinds of things on it so um you can always set it in your little mesh bag i need some lip color I'll go do that um so you don't set the flat side down and expose it to bacteria and then also it dries with the airflow in here you know so gotta get you one of these suckers and yeah don't worry about how am i gonna clean it because it's super easy but um also get some method dish soap because this stuff rocks just saying and get some botanical foundation because there's this thing which i thought was fake until i tried this stuff but it's called the limelight glow I'm gonna go take a picture because I look, I need some contouring and stuff, but um, it's a real thing. It really is. Right, Michelle? Michelle can attest. So anyways, guys, I'm gonna go, if you didn't hear the secret word, watch again and um, get to my makeup lounge for the rules of the game. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.